Hi folks, Phil's DIY here again with another video. Um, today I'm going to be building a trellis for a lilikoi plant. Um, now lilikoi is the Hawaiian term for the passion fruit and my understanding is that it will grow very vigorously and needs a, a nice wide trellis or a fence or something to grow on and so that was the the idea for building this trellis. I used basic uh, one by two strips of wood. Um, I got eight foot lengths from Home Depot, cut them in half and built this trellis and I have it fully built and it's in place I've put the plant in the ground and draped the branches onto it, so we're going to see how well it propagates. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So, this is a passion fruit plant that we bought at a nursery. There are currently three fruits on it. Uh, we already have one that we took off and it was delicious. Passion fruit, as you know, in uh, Hawaii is called lilikoi, and uh, I'm going to build a trellis for this to grow uh, into a big bush. So I'm going to be using these eight foot lengths of one by two furring strips that I got from Home Depot, and I'll be cutting them to build the trellis that's going to be 12 feet wide by four feet tall. Then I'm going to mount them using these uh, steel fence posts. I got three of them. It's the kind you pound into the ground and those three will support the trellis. So I'm going to start by cutting these one by two furring strips and I'm just going to cut them all into four foot lengths because of the way I have it designed in my mind. So, first thing is, I'm going to just mark them four at a time. Now, it's actually 40, it's eight feet and about three-eighths of an inch, so I'm going to mark it for 48 inches and an eighth. Okay, so I have ten of these marked at the halfway point which is at four feet and one eighth inch. I'm going to cut it on the line. That'll give me two pieces per strip. And I needed a total of 19 of them. So I'm cutting 10 of the eight foot strips to give me four foot lengths, 20 of them. I only needed 19, but you know, that's okay. I'm going to cut them now. Don't forget your safety glasses. Okay, so all my pieces are cut to four foot lengths. Now I'm going to lay them out on the ground and lay it out for size and shape and spacing and all that. And then I'll uh, nail them together. So I'm going to start by putting one nail in each of these pieces so that I can adjust the framework and straighten it out as I go. So I'm going to put one in the middle. And I've got marks here for every 12 inches. And I'm going to nail that one in. And likewise right here. I'm just using the edges as my guide. That everything will be just butted up. After I'm done with the entire framework and everything straight, I'm going to put in a couple more nails in each spot. Okay, so I have the trellis completely uh, nailed together. Um, 
each joint has just one nail in it so I can still do a minor tweak to it if I need to but it looks pretty good for now um, I'm gonna just check the angles at each joint and if it's reasonably close to 90 degrees I'm gonna go ahead and just add two or three staples to each joint to give it uh, strength okay so I finished nailing in addition to the original one that I set I put in three more at each joint this would be quite strong um, and these are the uh, finishing nails that I use with my nail gun and it should hold up nice okay next is to place the posts in the ground okay so I'm getting ready to pound the uh, posts into the ground I'm gonna need them four feet apart and the first of them is going to go right there at the two foot mark from the end of where I want the uh, trellis another one's going to go right here at the six foot mark now my six foot mark is right here and then one over there at the two foot mark and the whole thing will be effect roughly where the tape measure sits about that length like so I'm gonna space it or place it with the ridges to the back because I'm gonna mount the trellis onto this side which will be behind the post or on the back side of the post so I just need a couple inches clearance just to give it some space and then I'll pound it in right about there about flush with the top of the fence although the manufacturer says you should put it in so that the spade is fully submerged so I'm gonna put it down a little bit more okay we're good okay so I've got all three posts into the ground and I'm ready to put the trellis in place. The important thing is I've got all these other vegetables currently in here and I don't want to disturb them. So I think I got to lift this end up and over first. And then I will insert this side like so. And then that will give me the support necessary to lift the rest of it up and over. And there you go. Okay. Next, I'm going to center it and then have it sitting about yay high. Well, there it is. It's 99% completed. Uh, let me show you why. So I had these uh, brackets or ties that I used for this fence post with some actual fencing that's designed to go with like chain link fence but it was too short too small to secure the one by two pieces of wood so what I did was I happened to have a spool of some copper wire so in the interim I'm gonna just tie it with that next time I'm at Home Depot I'm gonna get the right uh, uh, spool of, of aluminum or steel whatever the the wire is that's normally used to secure this. I'm gonna secure that better. I've got so far uh, just five points. One in the middle and two on, this, on the ends. So up there and down there. But 
basically this is strong enough to hold itself and for now the uh, lily koi plant is not so big so it's not going to fully overgrow everything and you know in a week or so i'm going to replace these guys with uh, proper uh, tying material but aside from that we're done well i have the lily koi plant in the ground now and i'm going to be monitoring how well it clings and grows and uh, propagates to fill up that uh, trellis that I built. Uh. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me put together that uh, trellis for our lily koi plant. Um, if you like what I'm doing here, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And I'll try to keep bringing you more of these videos. Okay, bye!